Okay, big moment. This Game Boy is connected to this Teensy, which leads to my iMac. And this one leads to this other Teensy that leads to my laptop, Chromebook. They're both running TCP, Poké, blah. And I'm now going to attempt to connect them. You can see that on both screens the bytes are being transferred. So this is going over TCP, over the Wi-Fi, over the Teensy. That's really... You can see now they're transferring all the Pokemon. Four hundred and eighty bytes plus all the masking bytes. This is taking a while over the TCP. Over the link cable it would be a few seconds. But now there's several milliseconds of latency between each packet, so it takes a while. Earlier I en enabled, like, slowed down the network artificially and it still worked, although really slow. Okay, so now they are both uh, transferred all the Pokemon. You can see each of our Pokemon. So let's trade, um, I don't know, Psyduck. For Pidgey. Waiting, waiting. And we'll be traded. Trade. Trade. We're now witnessing the first ever TCP. Pokemon trade in the world, I think. So just to show this, there's really no direct connection between the Game Boys. The one goes to the laptop, the other one goes to the iMac. Also, this is a Team C3 and this is a Team C2, so it works with both of them. Trade complete! So now you can see it will transfer all the bytes again to show the, uh, uh, the traded Pokemon. So this will take a while again. the UI of this screen will be changed and usable for actual users without all the debugging stuff. Still transferring. Ah, there it is. So now you can see I have the Pidgey and the other I have as the um, was it Psyduck I traded? Yes. So I'll trade them back now. Ok, 
Okay, that's it for now. Thank you very much.